how do you deal with such a situation where the need for um, a new policy direction is now, but the data that is required for that policy direction to support it is not there and would maybe need some months to a year or so to generate. I work with the University of Dar es Salaam, um, the College of Education campus. Um, I also, as a lecturer, but I also, yeah, within the Department of Biological Sciences, Faculty of Science, I teach genetics, yeah, and uh, cell biology. Um, I'm also affiliated to Mohibili University of Health okay. and Allied Sciences mm -hmm. as a honorary lecturer in the Department of Biochemistry. So again, I teach molecular biology, like genetics mm -hmm. courses. So you've been involved here in this two, uh, three day workshop on the role of, uh, the role that researchers, particularly leading researchers across Africa, can play in mainstreaming or institutionalizing evidence informed decision making within our government institutions, but also within universities. Um, what is your one takeaway from this, from this workshop? Yes, so, so, well, the reason for me coming to this workshop was ultimately whatever research that we want to do, ultimately we want to impact yes. lives. So there must be a way to inform, because I never knew this, but now as in much as I'm growing in research, you, you understand that yeah. somehow you have to be able to communicate your yeah. research to the user. Yeah and for it to actually be applicable yeah. to the user. Yeah. And if you want to do that, you cannot run away from engaging the government yeah. and other policymakers, um, stakeholders, because they are the ones who actually engage yeah. more with the communities. They are the ones who make decisions. Yeah. So um, I realized that the way I was, I've engaged the government, um, not so much, but I've started to engage with them, particularly yeah. for the for the newborn screening project because mm -hmm. we want it to be a national program yeah. because we see the need for it. Yeah, yeah. But um, you see that I always looked at them as them. Mm -hmm. I never knew what actually influences the way they conduct their things and the way, they make decisions. the way they make decisions. So for me, one major thing that I'm taking back is understanding that when you're thinking about to engage the government, you mm -hmm. have to consider all other factors, including yeah. the political dynamics, the yeah. economical dynamics, yeah. and all those environmental factors that make them make decisions the, the way they do. Yeah. But also, um, so in the same line, to keep updated on what is happening yeah. within the country, within the region, so that you, you know how to contextualize yeah. your research output in a manner that 
clearly yeah. applicable. Is there one thing that you thought about of how you will use or apply any of the ideas or lessons that have come through uh, following this workshop? For instance, an example of something you will do or do differently because of this workshop. So I'll tell you what. So the moment you sent out the guidelines, yes. I have shared with my... You've already shared the guidelines with... Uh -huh. Yes. Just after you gave us a go ahead, yes. I had shared them with I've shared them with um, the deputy principal academic for my college mm -hmm. and my colleagues. Yeah. Because I think um, one of the things that I immediately want to know and to do is yes. to see what we have in place yes. in our institutions yes. in terms of supporting EIDM. Mm -hmm. And um, if possible because we do have some infrastructures in place. Yes. But we need to make sure that they can also be used yeah. to 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 initiate not to initiate to to cultivate that culture, yeah. EDM yeah. cultures. So I have already shared and I've already specifically requested for for because I also shared with the director of research and postgraduate studies mm -hmm. that um, we look at the guidelines and we see if we can plan for yeah. workshops or, yeah. or trainings yeah. with, with the colleagues. But again, as a college of education. I think we stand a very good um, chance of advising the government yeah. on the right direction because education is key. So, so I think we need to go back and look at what kind of research we are doing and the results that we already have. Yes. And how much of that has actually been used to inform the decisions by the government. And the second thing is to engage with the government and find out what are the problems that they have yeah. within the education system and yeah. see how we can tailor our research to answer. To speak to those yes. Yes.